Hey, what is going on guys? I Almighty here and welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay commentary. As usual, the gun you're seeing me use is the AK-47 with a suppressor because I freaking love this gun. I hope you guys don't mind seeing it a lot, um, especially my Black Ops gameplays because um, about 99.99998% uh, of my gameplays are with the AK-47. I do have some with the FAMAS, but nobody wants to see the FAMAS because, well, the FAMAS is kind of a noobish gun. But um, I'm at the point now where I just don't really care. Black Ops 2 is coming out anyway, which is kind of what I want to talk about in this commentary. But um, mainly I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys normal. You know, I feel like I haven't done like a normal area in a really, really long time. I've really missed you guys. I've been, um, school, school's been great this week. Economics actually has actually been pretty easy um, this week. Uh, tomorrow, well, um, tomorrow. We are, we're going in the computer lab, uh, all class period, to work on some, some fun stuff. Um, so that'll be fun. Yeah, it's been pretty easy this week and just been an all-around great week. So hope everybody's else hope everybody else's week is going great. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry. Um, I also wanted to share some news that I heard um, while I was in fourth block. Um, I was in my World Lit class. We were in the computer lab working on uh, some senior essays for a senior scrapbook, which is basically, um, you, you, I think there's... 12, no, 15, there's like, I think there's like, tw there, it's either 12 or 15 essays that you have to write, which they aren't going to be graded, they're just kind of like fun little essays, like um, one essay is um, tell about your family life, your parents, uh, memories that you've had, things you do with them, and stuff like that, it's just a senior scrapbook, I and mean, we get to make it, and uh, so we were working on that today, and the, um, the topic for it was... Um, look at your birthday and try to see any historical things that happen, which I actually found out some pretty cool stuff. I found out that Terry Crews, which is a, an awesome actor, one of my favorite actors, um, his birthday is July 30th, same as mine, and also Arnold Schwarzenegger, 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 whatever, um, has the same birthday as I do also, and uh, then I figured out that um, that was the, I think it was called the Oklahoma City bombing, and also found out there was an earthquake in Japan on July 30th in uh, sometime that uh, killed around 5,000 people. So found out some pretty interesting things. But I was on Twitter because my computer stopped working, and um, I, I, I was I was looking on Twitter, and I'm a big screamo music fan. That's basically that's my big genre. Is you know I like bands like uh, Sleeping with Sirens, uh, Asking Alexandria, Pierce the Veil. Um, of Mice and Men, all sorts of Woe Is Me, all sorts of bands. Um, and Suicide Silence is uh, one that I really, really liked. And I found out that their singer, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, man, I can't even remember his name. I think his name is like Mitch, Mitch Lucker, I think, um, was killed in a car ac or a motorcycle accident this morning. So my prayers go out to his family, his band, and uh, sorry if you guys just heard my phone. Um, but like I said, prayers go out to his band, his family, and um, his wife and kid, you know. Um, it's really sad to hear news like that, especially it kind of kind of cuts me too because I, I listen to him and it's really weird. I was listening to some of his music um, actually before I even saw that uh, on Twitter that he had passed away and I was, it really did. It kind of like made me sad because, I mean, it really is because you realize life is really short, you know. You would have never thought that he'd be dead anytime soon, but, you know, um, Life just passes you by. That's why you got to live in the moment and uh, just seize the moment, you know. Carpe diem. Have fun, you know. Do do crazy things. Not too crazy. Don't do too crazy things. But, you know, just just live, you know. And uh, now that I'm done with that little random thing, <laughs> um, I want to talk about my hopes for Black Ops 2. Now, I cannot wait for Black Ops 2. Um, Black Ops is still still feels pretty good for me. I, I still really enjoy Black Ops, except for when I play the map Kowloon. Because after I play Kowloon, I, I usually get off the game. I don't know why I play it. I could just leave the game. But I don't know. It just put, it puts me in a bad mood. I always do bad on it. I never get a good game. And I, I just freaking hate it. So um, the game is still pretty pretty awesome for me. I still enjoy playing it. I know a lot of my friends are like, oh, Black Ops is gay. Can't wait for Black Ops 2. But I still love Black Ops. But I will be getting Black Ops 2. Can't wait for that. It's going to be a blast. Um... I really hope that they stick to the uh, map design of Black Ops. Um, the map design on Black Ops was just amazing. You don't have too many buildings. You don't have too many things going on. You don't have... It, it, it flowed really good. The map flow was amazing in Black Ops, and I really hope they do the same in Black Ops 2. I also hope a lot of the guns return, like the AK-47, Commando, Galil, stuff like that. But um, if you want to hear a full rundown of hopes for Black Ops 2, let me know in the comments, and I will do a separate commentary for it. 
Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It was kind of a random thing. I just really wanted to get a commentary out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you guys have an amazing day. All right, guys. Peace.